Bucknutters, welcome to the Bucknuts Morning 5 here on Wednesday, October 14th, 2015. I am Dave Biddle, and I am joined by the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick. And I'm talking to the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting. Let's talk Ohio State Football Recruiting. Bill, first question, from your understanding, what is Urban Meyer's policy on committed recruits looking around at other programs, taking official visits to other programs? What is Urban Meyer's policy when one of his recruits is doing that? Well, basically, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and uh, in my opinion, pretty solid and fair. Um, you know, if Ohio State takes a commitment from a young man, then they're not going to look to, um, I guess you'd say, look around for that young man's replacement. Uh, they're going to honor that commitment, and uh, they're going to keep recruiting uh, at that position if they're taking more than one prospect at that position. And if they're not taking more than one prospect at that position, they're going to basically shut down recruiting at that position. Uh, on the other hand, if, if that prospect begins to look around at other schools, uh, then they are going to look around at that position for a potential replacement for that prospect. And you have to do that. I mean, you cannot be caught in a situation where it's one-sided, where uh, a prospect that is committed to you is looking around at other schools and you're – making no plans in case that prospect goes elsewhere. So really it's, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward policy. And I, I think a good one, you know, basically you look around and we are going to look around and, and I don't see how any recruit could, um, you know, quibble with that policy. Uh, if, if they're going to look around, it just wouldn't be fair for Ohio state not to have another plan uh, in place if they need be. Bill, focusing on Kareem Walker, number one running back in the country, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite, number 32 overall player in the country, according to the Composite. In your opinion, has the ship sailed on Kareem Walker being a Buckeye? Well, you know, Dave, that's that's a, a great example of what we just talked about. You know, had Kareem Walker not decided to look around, then I don't think there's any doubt Ohio State wouldn't be looking around, so to speak. Um, you know, they were very happy uh, to have uh, the, the one running back in this recruiting class, pure running back, I should say. Of course, there is DeMario McCall, who plays running back for North Ridgeville. Uh, there's George Hill, who uh, plays running back for his high school, Hubbard. But those prospects have not and were not recruited as pure running backs for Ohio State. Uh, there's slot-type prospects or receiver-type prospects that could line up in the backfield. So Kareem Walker... Uh, was the only running back in the class, and they had told him that uh, he would be the only running back in the pure running back in the class. Now, as far as his status, as whether things of uh, the ship has sailed, so to speak, as you put it, Dave. No, not right now. I would not say that ship has sailed. I think we're going to have a really good feeling and, and know a lot better after this weekend. Um, uh, getting back to the looking around thing, Antonio Williams is coming in to visit Ohio State this weekend. He is a Wisconsin commitment, a long time. Wisconsin commitment, um, but he was one of the highest state offered a scholarship too early. Uh, once they got uh, Kareem Walker in the fold, that pretty much closed running back recruiting down, and they were true to their word on that until, of course, Kareem decided to look around, and at that point, again, it was only fair that Ohio State uh, look around as well. Uh, could, uh, could Kareem Walker still be in this recruiting class? Absolutely. You know, Right now, he's still uh, an Ohio State commitment, and Ohio State certainly would, would honor that commitment if he shut down his recruiting. Now, if he continues recruiting, then we're going to know this weekend what happens uh, or have a really good feel for what happens because, again, Antonio Williams is making a visit to Ohio State this weekend. But as of right now, uh, the ship has not completely failed by any stretch of the imagination for Kareem Walker. You mentioned Antonio Williams will be here in Columbus for the Penn State game this Saturday. He's the number seven running back in the country, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite, number 211 overall player in the country in the 2016 class. We have Antonio Williams is going to be there. I know Nick Bosa is going to be there. Who are some of the other big names 
uh, they're going to be in attendance for this big game, this big recruiting weekend, Bill. Oh, it's going to it's going to be a great weekend, Dave. And uh, shameless plug here, of course. Stay tuned to Bucknuts.com all weekend long because we're going to have plenty of information. And uh, as I can say, it's going to be an intriguing weekend. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Uh, you got the Antonio Williams slash uh, Kareem Walker uh, situation that uh, that will play out this weekend. Uh, you've got the official visit, uh, Victor. Uh, Benjamin Victor, the number two wide receiver in the country from Florida, is making his official visit. He'll be coming up to Ohio State, uh, certainly not as the lone Floridian. Uh, as you mentioned, Nick Bosa makes his official visit. And with him will be Sam Bruce, a great wide receiver from Aquinas High School that's currently committed to my the Miami Hurricanes, he'll be making his official visit this weekend. Uh, but uh, uh, maybe the most exciting visit, as far as Ohio State fans go, uh, with all the defensive tackle talk, as you know, Dave, that we've had uh, in the many past months, I had the news the other night that uh, Richard Lawrence, five-star defensive tackle out of Louisiana, will in fact make his official visit to Ohio State this weekend, and that's huge. Um, you know, Ohio State, if they could land him, well, that would uh, that would go a long way. You'd put him in the class along with Malik Barrow. Hopefully Malik gets totally healthy by, by next season. And then you've got Nick Bosa and Jonathan Cooper, and that's just a, a tremendous haul of defensive linemen. So Rashard Lawrence's visit this weekend will be absolutely huge. Uh, uh, you go to the class of 2000. 17, and you look at guys like Lamont Wade, a highly touted defensive back out of Pennsylvania. Richard LeCount, who was at Friday Night Lights and put on quite a show that night, uh, uh, he will make a visit to Ohio State this weekend. Uh, and then even you go a little bit farther, go to the class of 2018, and two tremendous prospects, Jalen Bill from right here in the Columbus area, Westerville South High School, will visit Ohio State this weekend. And coming up from Virginia will be Ricky Slade, a running back that uh, has plenty of scholarship offers. So, you know, those are some of the highlight names, and it's, it's going to be a great weekend for the Buckeyes. Fantastic insights, as always, out of the dean of Ohio State football recruiting, Bill Curlick. For more on recruiting, Bill is doing In the Dean's Office as we speak. You can ask him any question on recruiting. So get on In the Dean's Office on our site right now. After practice tonight around 6.30 p.m., we will interview Urban Meyer and a few players, so look for stories, bolts, and videos on what Coach Meyer and the players have to say. We'll try and get uh, Coach Meyer posted by 7 o'clock. Hopefully they're not running too late, but we'll get Meyer posted as soon as we can, and we'll get the players posted as soon as we can. Thanks again to the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick, and thanks to you for tuning into the show. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Take it away, best damn band in the land. (laughs) 